In the meantime, Haven for Hope says their mission to help is not just crucial, but can be life saving. The shelter has been preparing for the major drop in temperatures, and they expect the next few days will be some of the busiest of the year. Stephen Cavazos explains why help will always be there for those in need. Safety has always been a top priority for the Haven for Hope and officials with the shelter say as the weather gets colder, their work becomes more important. The shelter is preparing for an intake of more people in the coming days and an indoor space will be used for sleeping. However, Molly Beglary, vice president with Haven for Hope, says social distancing will still be enforced. We want to be able to offer even under these incredible circumstances with COVID, we want to be able to offer every service, and that's Haven services and our partner services. Haven for Hope will offer cold weather clothing like warm jackets and gloves, but Beglary says they are always looking for more donations from the community. She says around 400 jackets are usually distributed to those seeking warmth. The shelter will also provide sleeping bags, hand warmers, hygiene products, and snacks, and people will be allowed to stay as long as they need to. Partners like the San Antonio Food Bank have already prepared extra meals. Beglary tells us people who are experiencing homelessness will always have support and a place they can feel safe. And people shouldn't be embarrassed to do that. These are services that are compassionately given with incredible respect and dignity because everyone at Haven and our partners know that we could all be in that position. Now the shelter will be taking in new clients Monday through Friday from seven in the morning to three in the afternoon. People or families that is with children are welcome 24 seven. Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News.